Yeah, righty. Oh, this is this is what. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to actually fill in. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use the force equation, and the force here is just uh, k q q over r squared. Now, notice that we're like two and then one like that, right? Um, and so the calculating these things here, the we're going to end up with uh, a, you know funky things in, in the denominator, right? Uh, because it's it's not like right along the grid; it's at an angle like that. Okay, so let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find. Uh, we're trying to find the force on A, right? And so I'm going to find the force of B on A, right? Let's do that first. Okay, just the magnitude of it. Now, of course, it's going to be this way, right? Uh, B is going to exert a force that way. C is going to exert a force that way, right? So this is the force of C on A. This is the force of B on A. It's always good to get these right. You know, it's so sad if you get this wrong. So A is going to be attracted to B because A is positive, B is negative. A is going to be repelled by C, so um, because they're both positive, right? Okay. So let's see. The force of B on A will be. 8.99 E9. Uh, let's see, B is, what is B? B is negative 210. I'm just going to put 210. E minus 6. And then A is 160. Okay, let's see. Then I'm going to divide by, and then the distance, this is B and A, right? So it's 2 squared plus one square. And then remember, there's a whole thing here, really, that's the square root of that whole thing, but then it's also squared, right? It's the square root of this. This would be the distance, right? And then we would, in turn, square that, okay? So, but I don't need to do that, right? The square root of something squared is just the something, right? But you do need to put the denominator in parentheses. Okay, so here we go. The force of B on A, 8.999. parentheses, 2 squared plus 1 squared, all right, 60.4128. All right, and let's see, this angle is, what is that angle? That angle is, uh, I want to say that angle is, let's see, 90 minus this angle, right? Okay, so 90 minus tan minus 1. Of, uh, let's see, opposite is one, adjacent is two. Okay, so that angle right there is minus second tan divided by two, 63.43. Okay, so now we've got a force and we've got a direction. Uh, and then I'm going to find the force of C on A is. And then C is 6.30. A is 160. Notice that I've ignored the minus and the plus and all this stuff on these things. Um, and the reason for that is that the, the direction of this force is encapsulated in that angle I just found. It would be confusing for me to have a negative number there. My, my brain doesn't work that well. Okay, so let's see. C is... Uh, 2 and 2, right? So it's 2 squared plus 2 squared. And really, this is the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, but then squared, right? But I'm just lazy. I'm not going to write all that. Okay. So here we go. 8.99 uh, E9 uh, times 630 E minus 6 times 160 E minus 6 divided by parentheses 2 squared plus 2 squared. It's 113.274. Right? And then this angle is easy, right? This is a 45 degree angle here. So I guess it's, it's, uh, that's 45 degrees. And this would be 180 minus 45 degrees. <laughs> there is my dog. 
180 minus 45, let's see, 135. 135 degrees, right? Okay, so now we're set. Now, now we've got to fill in our little table here, right? Okay, um, so we're going to make a table. We're going to keep everything separated. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's go uh, force FBA. Force CA. <laughs> Where am I going to write the answer? I don't know. We'll figure this out. Okay, so let's see. Uh, magnitude. Let's do the direction. The dir. All right, so the magnitude of FBA is 60.4128. The magnitude of FCA is 113.274. These are Newtons. All right, the direction of this guy is 63.43 degrees. Direction of this guy is 135 degrees, right? And then my X component, my X component. Okay, I'm going to bust these guys out here. So 60.4128. Uh, Cos 63.43 is 20.27.02. Positive. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it'd be to the right, okay. Uh, Newtons, that's the X component. Okay, and then I'm going to go uh, second entry. Uh, instead of cos, I'm going to go sine. And I get 54 54.03. 54.03. Okay, so now I'm going to do this guy, 113.274, cos 135. These should, by the way, come out even. We'll find out if I'm in radians. Negative uh, 80.10 is what I'll say. Does that make sense? Yeah, it would be to the left. And then uh, if I do the same thing, only I do sine, I get positive 80, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, because it would be vertically upward, right? Maybe this is a positive number 2.10. All right, so now, 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 now we're almost set, right? Okay, so let's see. I guess I got to add this to this. I wish I hadn't written something there. Okay, I'm going to add this to this and this to this. Okay, so 27.02 plus negative 80.1 is negative 53.08. All right, so I'm adding this to this. Get this, right? Now I'm going to add these guys, 54. 0 0.03 plus 80.10, and they're both positive. This is 134.13. All right, now, now we got to draw a picture of this guy, right? He's to the left and he's up. He's way more up than to the left. Where can I draw a picture of him? Hmm. I've got these numbers. I guess, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a white screen here. Okay, I'm going to go to a white screen. Just remember 53.08 to the left, 134.13 up. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a picture of this guy, right? I'm going to go 53 to the left. I'm going to go 134 up. Right? This is 134.13 up and 50. Zero eight. I'm guess I'm probably not totally the scale here, right? And then of course the whoa, <laughs> thing's gonna be like that, right? Hard to draw with these, okay? Okay, so the magnitude is square root of one thirty four point one three squared plus fifty three point zero eight squared. Be careful, do not put that minus sign in there. Or if you do, if you want to put the minus in there, you've got to put parentheses around it. Because um, your your TI calculators will betray you. You if you put the minus in there, it'll give you a number a hypotenuse smaller than one of the sides, which is kind of funny if you believe that that's the right answer. Okay, so square root of one thirty four point one three squared 
plus, and I'm not putting the minus in. Do not put the minus in. Squared. Okay, so this is 144. 144 newtons, and then this angle with the x-axis, you can find any angle you want, but you're going to draw me ultimately a picture like this, right? That angle is um, inverse tan of 134.13 divided by 53.08. So let's try that. 134.13 divided by 53.08. This should be a big angle. Indeed, 68.4 degrees. Okay, this is all you have to do. You're going to draw me a picture, the components like that. Don't forget to put, you want to remember the, the, the Y component sprouts from the nose of the uh, X component, right? You put them tip to tail, and then remember the vector is an arrow. You've got to use arrows. You've got to label an angle and calculate it. You could, you could have calculated that angle. I think this is a better one to calculate. Um, and then you, you need to find the length of the hypotenuse. That's the magnitude of it. Happy hunting. I hope it all turns out all right for you.